Hi everyone, welcome to the VMD tutorials. Today we'll continue with the third part of the optimization of data analysis in VMD. And together in the first two videos, we wrote a script in which we first loaded the trajectory and then we wrapped and centered it and then we aligned to the first frame and then we did some analysis. We started with the RMSD analysis and then with the backbone RMSF and then with the salt bridges. Today we will add two more important analysis to our script, which is the first one is the hydrogen bond. And it's straightforward and very easy and you, you don't need to do anything rather than writing two commands. The first one is you say package require hydrogen bonds. So you get the package that will calculate the hydrogen bonds in your trajectory. And then you will say hydrogen bond cell one, it is atom select top protein. And then write file. Yes, I need a file for this, but don't plot it because I will plot it by myself using a better program than VMD. And this is the, 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 the simplest way to do it. So th this will give you the number of hydrogen bonds within your protein uh, through the trajectory. So within your protein structure, because you have only one selection. But here I added more selections from the VMD hydrogen bonding plugin. So you can modify it easily. What you need to do is you just get the keyword like this cell 2 and then you put it here and, you, and then you write whatever you want for example because we had only one selection here it will calculate as I said the hydrogen bond within the protein structure but if you set cell 2 water it will calculate the hydrogen bonding between water and and protein or it could be protein and surface and in cell 2 you have water so it will calculate the hydrogen bonding between the surface residues of your protein and water or whatever protein or solvent or core and protein and solvent so this depends on what what you are on your research question and we already have a detailed video on hydrogen bonding in our channel uh, dedicated only to the hydrogen bonding analysis to you you may refer to it and, and watch it in details and the write file is by default no, but I make it yes because I need file. And update selections it by, by every frame, of course, we need this. It's by default yes. And then here I didn't assign any frame numbers. So by default, it will go for all. You see here by default, it is all. Get some coffee. And... You, you may you may need uh, you may be interested only in a single part or small part of the trajectory so you may say the begin and end you put it here frames and then you say from 0 to 500 for example don't get the rest or you can also assign a specific part of from the trajectory and with a step with a stride you say you start from 1 or 0 to 500 with a stride 10 so it will calculate every tenth frame okay so you skip 10 frames and the distance this is very critical the cutoff distance between donor and acceptor it's by default three and you may increase it and decrease it but i would recommend you to keep it three and the critic part is the angle which is in vmd it's the angle between the donor hydrogen and acceptor and this is very confusing because the lower the, 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 this angle, the stronger is going, is going to be your hydrogen bonding. So uh, if you make it 20, which is by default, it will get only the strongest hydrogen bond in your structure. But if you want to include the weak hydrogen bond as well, you can make it like 120, okay? So the higher you go, the, the, the weaker it will be the hydrogen bond. And the more, of course, the number of hydrogen bond you will get in your output file, okay? So this is very critical because... In some other tutorials, or, or sorry, in some other tools, I found that when you increase the, the, the angle, the it, it will get the stronger hydrogen bond. But in VMD, it's different because VMD goes for, as I said, donor, hydrogen, acceptor. So you may, if you make it like 10, you will get like a, a one hydrogen bond every frame or five. But if you make it 100, you'll find an output in every frame like 500 so it depends on what you are interested on you're gonna be you, you are on the, the only one who can decide this but if you don't know keep it as default and see what's happening or try different uh, default uh, different uh, cut of distance or angles and as I said plot I said no because 
okay if you let vmd plot it to you as we did in the previous video of hydrogen bonding i mean you, it's useless i mean you just need the data and you put it in a, by good way like by python or by whatever uh program you, you are using so i don't prefer to have a plot in my analysis and you can also assign an output directory as we did in salt bridge so you can say you can create here a, a subdirectory say output there and you, you write the uh, the name of your directory as we made here our directory salt pages but don't forget to make this directory because if you don't make it it will not it will say no such directory okay so what do you expect uh, if if i left it here without any directory by default it will use the current directory and i don't need like a to make a separate directory because it's gonna in my case it's gonna give you a single file okay and here we have a log uh, the the log file if you by default it is none uh, but if you assign it it will give you the information of of the hydrogen bonding between which residues you might find it useful and write file of course i made yes and then you can consider only polar atoms but by default it is no it, i mean it is depending on your research question so you can go over these options and you try it but just I introduce you the simplest way and if you have any uh, if you want to go into details to this analysis we as I said we have already a nice video in that channel was made only for the hydrogen bonding give you a theoretical background about hydrogen bonding and how we consider hydrogen bond in VMD cool so we have by just two lines we added a very important analysis to our script so the new one is the solvent accessible surface area which is already, I don't want to extend the video, we already have a single video which was dedicated only to the SASA analysis, so you may refer to it to know what is SASA and how to make it. But it's just very simple as the previous analysis, you get you, you set a variable called cell and you get your selection which is protein and then you ask VND to get some information about your structure which is the important information is the number of frames and then you will assign an output file called sasa or whatever you want in the opening and in writing format mode and then our very traditional loop i don't want to go over it and then it will i mean this is just puts it this is what will you see in your tq console so it will say one or if you have say if you have 100 frames it's say one over 100 two over 100 so you can track the progress and then in my output file i will put the frame and the corresponding sasa okay and quickly i explained this before but why 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 uh 1.4 because in sasa we probe the structure with a small pole which uh, correspond to uh, a water molecule and the water molecule radius is uh 1.4 angstrom and then we probe the structure again refer to the, the video or go and read about it and also the restriction here i could remove this part because i already have only protein but if you restrict your selection to specific part of the protein if you say my selection is protein and residue 5 to 15 so you say your selection and then you restrict to your selection and this is only uh, what you're gonna see in your tk console it will give you the progress and when reach n by n means 100 percent it will put done and it will tell you that output file is what you assigned here sasa dot that and then it will close fine so it's pretty cool now we have rms the rmsf two three and then salt bridge three four five we have five analysis in one script so maybe the next video is going to be the last one in this optimization process maybe we can add radial distribution function and uh what let me think uh, let me think about it and we will see but anyhow we have five five nice analysis here so let's save and let's try to do it with our trajectory I will say VMD and then I will source my script and you guys I got uh, some questions which is really weird from some people which is I mean, they say how to use a script in VMD. You guys just source it, I mean. Sorry. You just source it like this. The name of the script and the, 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 
the extension is TCL, okay? I will hit enter and it will start working and I will get some coffee until it finishes. And of course, this is a very short trajectory, so it will take some time. Imagine if you have like 10,000 frames. That's why automation is very good, so you can source your script and go for lunch or go for reading a paper or, or do whatever you want. So now it is giving you the progress in Sasa, as I said, I by N. We went to reach N by N, which is 75 by 75, it will say done, and this is your output file. Okay? That's cool. Let's check our output. First output is RMS thing. Start from zero. We know this. And then RMS stuff. It's residue paste, not frame paste. And then uh, salt bridges. Okay. And what else is the new thing is the hydrogen bonds. Here we have. Uh, hydrogen bond and sorry the, the the frame and the number of hydrogen bond in the protein structure in this frame and as I said if you this is the default uh, angle and cutoff distance if you increase the angle it will give you of course more hydrogen bonding but this gives you somehow stronger hydrogen bonding because it was 20 okay so it's considered only the strong hydrogen bonds and then Sasa which is frame and your uh, serv uh, solvent accessible surf surface area and of course it's larger because it's for the whole protein and quickly it is as you see in this uh, structure it's getting too much high because in this uh, simulation it's already published work of my last paper protein got denaturated because you know urea is denaturating agents for protein so you see it's 43 from 17 so protein boom was destroyed or denaturated by by urea or urea or whatever you pronounce it okay so that's very cool and see you in the next video and if you have any questions is just ask me in the comment section or if you have any corrections of course if i make some mistakes and also about the scripts uh you will find a script in the video description. I will share it from Google Documents or Google Drive. Okay. And see you in the next video.